Right, hello there everybody, Darth Shockwave here again, I'm going to do a toy review today, it's going to be the first of many I hope. I'm not going to do a Transformers one yet, uh, today I'm going to do a Star Max Bomber because I've searched YouTube and I can't find anyone doing a review of it, so this might be the first one. Anyway, start off with um, Starcom itself, it's a toy line, it came out in about 1986, um, they're made by a toy company called Coleco, they, you may remember them, they made... Cabbage Patch Kids, which were crap. Uh, they also made the Rambo toy line and a couple other bits, but they went bankrupt. So as a result, the entire Starcom line was picked up by Mattel, who re-released them all in about 1990, plus some extra vehicles in Europe. Uh, brilliant toy line, required no batteries, as I'll show that down here, little sign here. Motorized change, no batteries needed. But unfortunately the toy line did not do as well because they did not advertise that at fact. So anyway, onto the box first before I go onto the toy. As you can see here, very nice box. Brilliant artwork design on the front. This is the kind of box you look at and think, wow, that looks amazing. Very bright. You'd have a hard time missing this if it was on the shop, you know, on the shelf. So it tells you that. Includes one figure. Very rare these days. Very few toys include figures with them what it's got with it, the age for it, and a nice dramatic picture of the Star Max Bomber. Go to the top of the box, has the two pictures of the Star Max Bomber, battle mode, cargo deploy mode. Cargo deploy mode is a little bit pointless because the light just opens up the back, but it's very nice though. Uh, let's have a look at the back. Here we go, the back has got all little technical specification on it, technical profile. There we go. Goes about the identification of the ship, who flies it, mission profile, battle mode, cargo deploy mode, what it's capable of, uh, armaments, what weapons it's got, what it can do, and just basically advertising a toy, what it can do, drop bombs, open the back, deployable landing gear, deployable opening cockpits. Rotating guns, swiveling cannons, and we've got a little bit of description of the pilot. So they tell you about who he is. He's Captain Rip Malone. A little bit of a description of the Starmax bomb itself. The flagship Starwing, Starcom's air and space fleet, and a little bit about Starcom themselves. So there we go. That's the box. Very nice box. Now onto the toy itself. Here it is. Absolutely fantastic toy. Uh, I managed to pick this up about four years ago on eBay along with several other Starcom toys. But this one is the most highly desired because it's the main ship. I'll show you some of the main features on it. So here we can see full 360 degree rotation on the main cannons. They can levitate. They have the side cannons. 360 degree levitation on that, but oh, sorry, full rotation on that, and the cannon can rotate out as well. And that comes off, unfortunately. Very loose. Also, we have side cannons as well, and they come out like so. Yeah. Now the motorized feature on this is on the back. You've got here the lever and the cargo area where the engines are comes out. You have a cargo pod in the back which seats four men. And that just plugs back in. Uh, also has auto deploy cockpit, you don't have to open themselves, they're spring loaded. You just push this little button in there and it opens up. And on the other side, you push this lever here and that opens up as well. And inside, you can see the navigator, the gunner, 
And there you have the pilot in the front. Nice detailed cockpit in there as well. A verity these days. Also, added features, the wings can fold up. There you go, the wings can fold up for storage in the hangars, of course. So there we go. It's not a heavy toy either, so you can have plenty of swooshability with it, if you decide. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. Water deploy land again. See the little knob here? Turn it backwards. The front landing skip goes in. Turn it the other way. Front landing skid comes out again. And on, on the bottom there's uh, two landing skids for it on the rear as well. So there we go. Stomach mama also has on the back. I'll probably show you this. I'll just lift up a little bit. A bomb deployment feature. So look at this. See the bombs can fall out. Very nice. And they just plug right back in there. Uh, this ship is this toy is also designed to fit with many of the other Starcom toys, such as the Star Wolf Microfighter and the Sidewinder. Now, see, there's a magnet on top of here, so you can plug the Star Wolf on top. There you go. And not only that, but open the back again. Just remove the cargo pod, and there we go. Close. There we go. <laughs> when it closed from there, then the Star Wolf can fit inside quite comfortably. So then we open up again, and the ship can be launched. There we go. So take that one out, and you can put this one in its place. You can put all of them in, including some of the enemy ones, if you want to. There's only a couple that fold up in the enemy, in the staff, in the Shadow Force. So what you can do is you can put the Star Wolf on top and have that open up as well. Some added firepower for it. Uh, overall, I would say this is one of the best toys that you could possibly buy. It's so much fun to play with. It looks great on display. And when people see the magma lock features, it does impress them. And they are quite impressed with this. Uh, it has very nice design as well. It looks like something that could actually belong in Star Trek, you know, if if they so wanted it to. There you go. Uh, I do recommend if you ever buy one and you get one boxed, I do strongly recommend. I know this may sound drastic, but you take the ship apart before you put any stickers on, and you re you spray the entire. The entire hull and the secondary cockpit white. If you don't, the ship will turn yellow over time. I don't know if it's the plastic they use, but it will turn yellow, especially if it's exposed to sunlight or cigarette smoke. It will turn yellow and look horrible. It is quite complicated to take apart, but it's um, a little bit, you know, it's not too difficult. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I'll do some more Starcom toys soon. Uh, till next time, take care and bye.